Hey YouTube, I searched everywhere and I could not find a video. So that usually prompts me to make a video. I wanted to know, can you catch a gopher or a, or a mole? Can you see a small creature crawling underground with a thermal imaging camera? I thought, wouldn't that be so cool if you could see it? You know, see this little red dot moving on the ground and then just stab it and kill it that quick? Oh my gosh, this would be a game changer. But why hasn't anybody made a video about it? Does it work? Does it not work? We're going to find out. So I went on to Amazon and bought the Perfect Prime Thermal Imaging Camera. What is this? IR0018. It's about $500. I guess this is considered like a mid-range thermal imaging camera. So here it is turning on. <clears throat> Shows like a picture of a car engine. Underneath here, you could just push this button right here, <clears throat> and you could take a picture of the image you're looking at. But you'll see there's a lot of glare on the screen. I apologize on that. You'll see it'll show little temperature gauges. So it'll tell you where the difference is. And you know, it's a slight difference. It says the maximum 70 degrees and the minimum 69 degrees here on my deck. So hopefully it can pick up a subtle difference of the body of a mole. You can see right where the sun is shining on the deck. You got a blue shadow there, but you can see the sun starting to heat it up. We're getting to 85 degrees there. I'm going to do this in the early morning or in the evening when I test this out. So the lawn will be hopefully cooler than the body of a mole. I don't know what the temperature signature of a mole's body is. I don't know, maybe 65, 70 degrees is my guess. I'm sure they're not as warm as a human legs. But hey, before I get into this, um, if you just raise your right finger, scroll your mouse over and click subscribe at the bottom uh, real quick. So I used to get like 150, 200 bucks every few months with Google. And the problem is they said I need to have a thousand subscribers and they're not gonna pay me anymore because I don't have a thousand subscribers. And I know it's a little bit of money, but that was the fun money. I would buy stuff I didn't even need and um, the tool I don't need. And my wife wouldn't complain about it. So if you could just click on it so I can get a thousand subscribers, I'd be happy. And it maybe took you two seconds. Thanks. Okay, here's my lawn. I put it in six months ago all by myself. Super proud of it. And this is where I'm having issues with the mole. You can see over here in the shade where it stays really cool, you can see how brown and splotchy that's looking. You know, and then any of these yellow patches around here are gonna be mole holes. And what's happening is the mole digs through, it makes a burrow, the roots aren't able to, when they get through into that mole hole, it's empty, it's just a bunch of air and the air dries out the roots and starts killing the lawn. So I, there were three factors I had to figure for this experiment. One, I had to make sure the lawn is actually cooler than what I thought the temperature of a mole's body would be. Because if the lawn's like 80 degrees, and let's say the temperature signature from a, a mole's body is like 70, there's no way I'm gonna be able to see that difference. So. I made sure the lawn's really cool right now. I'll show you on the thermal gun what it looks like. Also, I had to find the main routes that the mole's been going on. Um, moles are going to just make a bunch of holes and tunnels. Some of them, they're never going to go down again. But there's always a main channel they go up and down to do their destruction. So I poked a couple holes in, in all these different tunnels. And there was one where it kept filling the hole back up with dirt. So I knew that was the main channel. So it's this main channel is gonna going this way, anyways. And then there's one out there. All right, right now the lawn is about 56 degrees. Sorry, there's a lot of glare on this. I don't know if you can you mostly see my hand holding the camera. 55, 54, 53 degrees. You see there's a, a few little warm pockets, so I can go on that one and it'll highlight that little pocket right there is 58 degrees. 
So it's really subtle. You know, the, the range is between 56 to 54. So I'm hoping I could find something a little bit warmer that's crawling around. Let's see if that works. Okay, so here's an area where I've had a lot of mole problems. And you can see that, mm, so much glare here, sorry about that. You can see these little temperature readings going around, but the, the max is 57 and the minimum is 55. So one thing I've started doing is putting my foot in the pitcher. So if I put my foot in the pitcher, you can see that's much warmer than everything else. So I'm wondering if I have that in the pitcher, now the lawn's all that dark blue. And I'm wondering if that would, um, if I just hold it here, if I see something kind of slightly reddish moving in the pitcher. So I'm going from different areas like this, and I'm only gonna just sit here for a little bit and wait are any of those red spots moving? Then I just want to see. Do any of them stick around? If I put my foot in the pitcher. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to thoroughly test if this is if this actually works or doesn't work. So I spent several days and probably about four hours trying to see if this would work and I have officially come to the conclusion that you cannot find a mole or a gopher underground. Even if it's just a little bit underground, you still cannot find it with a thermal imaging gun. If anybody finds something different and how they were able to do it, please let me know because gosh, I really, really wanted this to work. But um, yeah, that would have been so cool. Anyways, so now you guys know, again, hit subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.